Hello there. I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Uh, I was at my local landfill uh, the other day, yesterday, and uh, I was hauling some stuff off from the house, stuff like that. Anyway, um, as I was leaving, I saw this sit just sitting off by itself, and at first I thought maybe it's the landfill guy's tool kit you know maybe he was working on something because there's a, a little outbuilding right there where you dump the metal and the guy was there so I and I almost didn't do anything and then I thought well, wait a minute and I walked up to the little door and packed on it I said what is that sitting over there he said I don't know I said well can I have it and he said sure take it so this is a very old, well, I don't know how old it is, but it's pretty old, I think. Whoever had it used it and used it well. But it's a Craftsman toolbox. It's uh, got a guy named Mike owned it. <laughs> but uh, it's a home tool storage. So it, at first I thought this was meant for automotive because it locks up like the, a lot of the automotive ones do. At first I thought that's what it was, but uh, either way, I mean, it's in good shape. Uh, somebody left a bullet in there, a <laughs> casing. Uh, I mean, all of the drawers, function just fine except this one. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, it looks like it's broken off its railings and there are no slides for it. But I don't really have a problem with that. Uh, I will be more than happy to just leave that drawer like it is. Uh, it's got some damage this is bent here you got a little bent spot there this whole drawer face looks like it might be bent a little uh, but it didn't cost me a dime and I can put a lot of tools in this box so I was thinking about restoring it trying to restore it the problem with it is is I I really don't want to try to fool with these rails. Uh, they're actually bent up and damaged in there. I don't see, yeah, see this is, it would require a set of rails. I'm not even sure how they go in. That's one, but the most, the most important part of it is, is, is it's winter time and I can't paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of the best degreasers I've ever seen and I'm going to clean this up. It's got some rust and stuff on it, but it's pretty solid pretty much. So we're just going to clean it up. And I'll show it to you when we get done. You don't want to see me do all this, do you? <laughs> Probably not. But I mean, it's just, it's, uh, there's nothing wrong with it except that it's been used well. So I don't see any sense in tossing that out when I know that I can use this.
if you look, at this side, and when you look over here, we've got damage all in there. So I'm not sure, number one, where to get the rails to go on the drawer and on this, or the slides, or whatever the heck you call them. Uh, or whether I can get that bit back where it will work. So what I'm probably going to do is put a piece, a strip of wood on this side and the other side that comes to the same height as this lip here so that when the drawer slides in it I'll bring it out to about right here bring it out you know an inch or so past this wall and that way when the drawer slides in it'll have something to lay on so that it'll sit in there level and I can just pull it in and out uh, I think that's probably the best that I can do considering the damage that was done uh, and the fact that I probably this is like low budget all my stuff is low budget so so here it is after I've cleaned it up it looks alright looks better than it did it had grease and all kind of stuff all over it I did my best to straighten things out It locks for the reason what I would do is just pull them up. There's little slots right there. I don't know if they were made for that. That's where I would store them so I didn't lose them. So, and I didn't get it. I got it as clean as I could. But, uh, I'll put, I'll probably put liners in it. There's the model number. If anyone's interested in what it is. But, I mean, it didn't come perfect. And it's got, like, that's actually rust. There's a lot of stuff like... Like all of this, this is not rust. It's grease that's so caked on that I can't get it off. And I tried over here to scrape it off, and what it's doing is it's pulling the finish off here. So I would rather have that stuck on top of the finish than to uh, do that and end up that spot will rust. I will have to hit that with some kind of paint just to keep it from rusting. So. But yeah, I think it'll work. Like I said, I'll do the, I'll put the, uh, either put the boards down here like I said, or actually, when I uh, removed that, I thought it was two. When I removed these drawers, I thought that there was a rail that went here, and then one you had to buy for the, drawer but it's not they're all the same roller one part of it slides in here and the other part of it slides to the door and if i'd have been thinking i'd have realized that so i might be able to fix this and if i can find the proper rails for this i wouldn't even begin to know how to look but if i can i may go ahead and put them back in because there's nothing wrong if i can with where the rails go on the drawer. So I don't see any reason why I can't repair that if it doesn't cost too much. But I think that this is going to be it. I don't think that I'm going to try to do anything else with this box. The more that I work on it, the more I understand that, first of all, I'll never get that straight. That's just not going to happen. Uh, there's just little bits and things that are 
wrong with this box like that I'm not going to get out to do a full on restoration on it uh, this box is perfectly serviceable the exact way that it sits right now it's clean and ready to be used for tools and uh, it should serve me a long time um, so I may just run it just like it is or at some point in time in the springtime I may just take it apart and put a new coat of finish over top of that. I, I know it won't be the powder coat or whatever it was that was used on this box but it's going to offer a little bit more protection from rust and stuff and make the box last longer and yeah the box was free and it's been beat up and used and abused but there's nothing wrong with this box it's perfectly serviceable and it has the history of someone whoever used this box had it for a long time and they used the living snot out of it I don't know if it, it says Craftsman home tool storage but the guy that used this was an automotive mechanic of some kind uh, whether he was a, a weekend warrior that just liked to play, work on his own vehicles or whether he worked for a shop I don't know but whoever used this box and owned this box before me was a mechanic and he used and worked this box quite a bit and uh, it's still standing that's testament to the older craftsman uh, boxes and I like the history of it and the fact that there was someone before me that had it that loved tools and loved working with tools and and might even have made it a profession and so I'm I'm pretty much gonna leave it alone like I said I may put a finish on it at some later time just to uh, keep it from rusting but if I do I will probably just put it like a rat rot it in other words not sand down any of this or anything like that uh, maybe uh, I saw a guy on YouTube that that used a, a product called rust fix there's a couple of different kinds uh, and all it is is it turns the rust into a, a bray a, a, a black sandable primer basically it, it, it creates a chemical reaction with rust so that it stops rusting and so what I may do is do what he did and take this box apart and spray it all with that uh, rust fix so that it doesn't rust anymore and then just put three or four clear coats over top of it to keep it from uh, to protect it and just leave it looking like this old and used and and all of that so I mean all right thanks for coming along later